and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial inspired by a little mix album artwork cover so this one is glory days i've kind of meshed glory day standard deluxe and platinum edition together into one look i'm really loving the way it turned out it's way simpler than the get weird one the get weird one was like woo liner everything so if you want to find out how i created this makeup look then just keep on watching the video so as you can see this is the look i have created today i haven't put the lash on or anything yet because i haven't decided what lash i'm going to put on it like i said it's very simple anyone can do this it's not intense, it's just like pastel colors. So let's jump on in, let's show you how I did it. So, let go. Bam, 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 ba, ba, Okay, anyway, sip of water. Okay, also my skin is going through it. I'm changing up my current skincare products um, because I'm trying to give myself a skincare routine and trying a lot of things. My skin's like, what the hell's going on? So <laughs> that's what's happening on my face right now. But we are going to jump in. We're going to use Jeffree Star palettes today. They are my favorite formula. So I'm using Jawbreaker, Bloodlust, and one shadow from the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Um, so yeah. First, I'm going in with a Morphe Jeffree Star JS5 brush. And I'm taking from the Jawbreaker palette. And I'm taking shade Gumdrop, which is a pastel purple lavender color. And I've already primed my eyelids with the P. Louise makeup base. Hold on, let me zoom in so you can see. So what we're going to do is take that color and start packing it on the outer part of our eye. Now this does have like a grayish undertone. So at some point it does look kind of gray, which is not what we're going for, but we just have to trust the process. So once I've packed it, I'm starting to blend. Still with the same brush not adding any more color on and i'm blending this all the way in so boop, boop, boop. and of course where you put your hand on your brush is you know how much pressure you're going to be when i'm packing it on i'm right down here but when i'm blending it out i'm way up here it's to go into your bloodlust palette and we are going to take shade vivid mood mixed with Deviant, 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 I don't know. And it's basically a deeper purple than bubblegum and a lighter purple than bubblegum from the Jewel Bait Breaker palette. And we're just going to intensify that shadow. This time we're not packing on, we are just blending them together. Putting down that Bloodlust palette, I'm gonna go back into the Jewel Breaker palette with a Morphe Jeffree Star JS8 brush and that color Wow, which is a yellow. And I'm going to start putting this in my inner corner just here and blending that into the purple we've just put on. Because in hindsight, this is a sunset eye, okay? But we're just using pastel-y colors. Is pastel-y a word? It is now. Okay, next we're going in with a Morphe Jeffree Star JS9 brush. And we're taking bubblegum. Did I say that the other one was called bub... It's called gumdrop. The purple one's called gumdrop. The one on top of it is bubblegum. What am I talking about? Anyway, taking that colour and we are going to put that in between the purple and the yellow. Right here and then blend it down into our lid shade. So I'm blending it into the purple first. Dipping back in and then blending it into the yellow which then creates this like pastel orange shade which is what we need but we need, still need to leave a little bit of yellow now I'm dipping into the Morphe Jeffree Star palette because I just need this self-made hot pink same brush and I'm applying it just to the top here take that brush you were using before with that purple shade don't add any more product and just blend it 
you don't have that harsh line. And you can close that, you won't be needing that one again. And we're going to take the Morphe JS5 brush and this colour called Scandal Water. It's this like purple blue here. And add this in as well, just on the out of the crease area. So now that that's on, I'm taking the Bloodlust palette with two little fingers, ooh, peace signs, okay? And I'm taking Pink Magic, which is here, and I'm taking Wet Jewel, which is here, just do -do 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 -do. okay? Bit of that. And then what I'm gonna do is put the Pink Magic shade over on my lid. Now, of course, you could leave it matte if you wanted to, but you know me, it needs shimmer, it needs glitter. Okay, so I put the pink magic on first because it's darker and then what's it called? Wet Jewel. Yes, Wet Jewel goes on the top. And I'm literally just applying this all over the lid. There's no rhyme or reason, I'm just rubbing it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the eyeshadow is done, you guys. Simple, easy, just wash of colours. Next is eyeliner. Of course, you look at the deluxe edition of Glory Days and it's got the black border. So I'm like, well, let's border off these eyes. Let's do it. So a nice wing would be lovely. Let's do it. Oh, and I'm using the um, House Laboratories Punk Eyeliner, which is probably my favorite eyeliner I've ever used. Okay, and then I'm going to apply this Urban Decay Heavy Metals Disco Daydream Glitter Eyeliner. And we're just gonna stack liner it. If you haven't noticed, I'm obsessed with stack liners these days. Um, I used to like do it a lot and then I just didn't do it because I just couldn't be bothered and now ever since the Ariana Grande Lady Gaga Rain On Me music video with the white liner and I did that once, everything's a stack liner these days. I'm not complaining either because I love on it. So I'm just going to apply this on, now it's not on top of the black, it's outlining it if that makes any sense. Now, of course, this is a holographic silver liner, so it's going to be a little tricky to be able to follow along where you've put on the glitter already because it is holographic and it's blending in, you know? Okay, so now that the eyes are basically done, we will come back and we'll add a little bit more, like, fun glitters and some stuff like that just because it's me, you know? But um, I'm gonna come back when my face is done, contour, blush, all that, and we'll highlight and we'll add the lower lash line on. We'll do all that together. So be right back. All right, so here we are, face is done. I'm using some really full coverage foundations today because the skin is awful. <laughs> and also I got some new ones in from Kryolan, you know, maybe some drag tutorials coming soon, me following along with some iconic Ripple's Drag Race's queens, maybe. Okay, anyway, so we have done all of the foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush. Obviously, there's no highlight on the face. She's dull, but we need to finish off these eyeballs. So, um, we are going to use some Dodo Lashes today. They're not my favorite pair, but they're still Dodo Lashes. And, of course, I have a coupon code with Dodo Lashes, Lace Willow Beauty, at checkout. Um, I'm using a Lashes D309 today. There's nothing in here, but that's the box. I've already pre-glued those up. I just need to do my lower lash line first. So I'm just going to go in with a mix of all different colors that we've used on our eyes um, on a pencil brush and run it underneath. So I'm taking bubble gum from the Jewel Breaker palette, gum drop from the Jewel Breaker palette, a bit of Vivid Mood, a bit of Scandal Water, a bit of Deviant, tap that, and then run that underneath the lower lash line. And then right there in the middle where it kind of connects, I'm going to throw on a little bit of Wet Jewel on that pencil brush. I'm just gonna dust off that pencil brush and take that wow shade, that yellow, and just bring it back to the middle here. And I'm also gonna throw on some white in my lower lash line. I'm just gonna take a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. While we wait for these lashes to get a little bit more tacky, Kimchi Drama Queen palette with a Jeffree Star Morphe JS4 brush with Spread Like Butter, ooh yeah. Pop that on. 
So my, my Dodo Lash is D309 lashes with my little lash applicator here. Just gonna add these on. If your lash is looking a little straight, not as curved, make sure you just do, 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 do. make them a bit more rounded to fit your eye better. Now, because I'm extra, this is just me being me, okay? Relax yourself. I'm taking this Trixie Cosmetics glitter in Marshmallow. It's just this like white glitter. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my glitter adhesive from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just go beep, 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 beep. tap, 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 tap. And then with my finger, with the glitter, Stunning. Next thing we're going to do is play with some bigger glitters. Showgirl glitters. Um, so Trixie Cosmetics, best ones in the whole wide world. Get your hands on them. Stunning. So we are going to take this one, which is Trixie Cosmetics Buffy glitter. And they're like these little hearts and crosses which we are going to stick on our eyes now there's all different shapes in here i want the largest heart i'm just going to take that with my nyx glitter primer not the anastasia one this one's just better for sticking stuff on your face you know what i mean if you know what i'm saying you're picking up what i'm putting down and take that glitter primer and put a dab of it right there. I don't know how to describe that. Just under the lash line there. Pick up one of these little teeny tiny hearts. Stick this bitch to my face. Okay. And you say, Elise, how does this remind you of glory days? I love glory days. Love hearts, I love glory days. That's why. No other ethical reason other than I just love glory days. And I think we might do a little shout out to my ex moment. Should I put some stars under my eyes? I think we might. So I've got these black sequins, which I've had since Glory Days came out, pretty much. Because I was, for a long time, doing black stars under my eyes. Just giving myself that Perry moment. So I've got two black stars. I know I said it was gonna be about the album cover, but I'm going all out, because Glory Days is a special place in my heart. First time I was ever noticed by the girls. And Lee tweeted out my video, reacting to it. So, just so many things about the Glory Days era, just, I owe a lot to. <laughs> All right. This thing is a shout out to my eggs. And that's that, my friends. That is that. We're gonna throw on some lower lash mascara. I'm just gonna take quickly this Heavy Metals, uh, what's it called, Midnight Cowboy Glitter and pop it in the inner corner just over the yellow just to make it pop more. Stunning! That's absolutely stunning! And lips, nothing new. My iconic lip. I know it works, I know it looks good. That's why I do it all the time. So, KKWX Mario Beauty Icon Liquid, li liquid Lip Lip Liner. Now I'll give you variation to my iconic lip. If I'm not wearing my Jeffree Star products, I'm wearing this, which is Kylie Cosmetics Snowman Season Matte. It's a little matte mini that it was in the Christmas collection or holiday, whatever they call it. And then of course, everything needs Drug Lord. So then I just put this on top. Last thing to do is spray the face. So we'll do a bit of kimchi stage proof setting spray. So that is the end of this makeup. I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'll be right back to finish out this video. All right, and that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a giant thumbs up and let me know down below what you would like to see me do next. Of course, the next makeup tutorial will be LM5. A lot of black, a lot of white coming for that one. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I just know that is the color palette. <laughs> so um, again, if you like these type of videos and you haven't subscribed to me yet, please feel free to do so, it is free. And you can turn on my post notifications as well if you haven't done so already, so you never miss a new upload. And um, 
I think we did pretty good for this one. Not gonna lie, I am getting Glory Days vibes from it. So that's a win. So make sure you give this video a giant thumbs up and let me know down below what you'd like to see me do next. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.